Hey there, it's Kimberly here with Knit for Brains. And I got this. Let's see what's inside, so stay tuned. I did not remember doing this. I think I was sleep shopping again. Ooh, I don't know. The Brit's gonna be like, uh-huh, I knew it. I knew there was something like that going on. Um, no, not really. So, welcome to my channel. If you're just joining us, where have you been? I am so glad you're here. Thank you for joining us. We now are at 3,000 plus subscribers. So thank you so much for that. Um, it's getting a little bit warm, even though it's a little overcast. So I get to throw on like the tank dress things. Um, anyways, I am making a sweater for my brother-in-law. And I'm using this amazing yarn from We Crochet called the Alpaca uh, Upcycled Blend love this stuff. I don't have any sitting here with me. Absolutely love this stuff. And I realized I didn't have enough yarn to make the sweater that I was making for my brother-in-law. So I ordered more. So when this box arrived, this guy, I thought, oh, that's the yarn that came pretty fast. When I opened it, I was like, that's not the yarn that I ordered, but <gasps> I got very excited. Well, it turns out that I did order this. I just forgot. And don't tell the Brit. Actually, the reason I ordered what I got here, first of all, was because my cousin has been uh, jonesing for me to make her something in pink. She wants pink, a pale, pale pink. So they're uh, on the um, We Crochet website. Their comfy worsted yarn was on sale. I think it was normally like $5.99 and it was marked down to $3.99. I thought, okay, fine, I will get some. Well, with We Crochet, they're really, really good about sucking you in. Um, not really, but about offering free shipping at like $45, which is amazing. Um, plus they give you like, you know, a 40 or a 20% discount code here and a little 10% discount here. So before you know it, you really want to get that free shipping. And before you know it, like, oh, okay, sure. I'll take it. Just take my money. I have said this before. And I'm gonna say this again. I'm really gonna try to slow down. My my stash is really dropping, so that's good. Um, I have enough yarn to make several things. Um, I'm gonna try to slow down the yarn shopping um, because I'm actually cutting back on some work. And you know, I feel like if you're working, you you deserve it. But if you're not working, uh, you know, I got more time. Whatever. Anyways, so. <laughs> Forget that. Let's get on to what you guys really want to see. I got two mystery kits from We Crochet. So I don't even know what's in them. And that's the cool, exciting part. But the first thing I did get was this Comfy Worsted. And uh, I believe it's 100% cotton, but I'm not sure. So let's take a look, see, and find. Now this, Brit, is for my cousin. So his... His rule of thumb is you can have yarn as long as it leaves the house. In other words, if you make something and it goes and it doesn't come back, you can, you can do that. Whatever. All right. So this is, oh, I do remember this. So this is their comfy worsted weight. It is a weight of a four. It is 75% Pima cotton, which makes it really nice and soft. And it is 25% acrylic. This stuff is so soft. It feels like 100% Pima cotton. It's beautiful. This color is called Flamingo. And it has uh, 109 yards or it's a 50 gram ball. Now, understand, you could also get this on Knitpicks. You can go to either one of their websites and get this yarn. So it doesn't really matter how you work it. Anyways, so I got this, and I and this was $5.99, I believe, but it was on sale for $3.99. So I ended up getting 10, 10 balls, so $39.90 for this. And I'm going to make her a sweater or something like that out of it. But it's really soft. It's very, very soft, and this is the color she wanted. So I don't know what I'm going to make with this. I'm gonna make something really fun and sweet, but this is lovely, super, super soft. Isn't that wonderful? Look at that. You can see a little bit of the sheen coming in and that is from the Pima cotton part. And this also got a little bit of acrylic in it, which is really nice because I've had a lot of Pima, which I, I love Pima cotton. Sometimes it can get a little bit pilly, you know? Um, you know what I mean by when I say pilly? 
Um, but hopefully with the acrylic, it's not going to do that. But this is beautiful. And to be honest with you, it feels like 100% cotton. It feels like a nice Pima cotton. Um, uh, yeah, so I'm excited to be using this. All right, so this is the first thing I got. Next is the stuff that you don't know about because I don't know what it is either, and that's really exciting. Okay, so first thing... I got a worsted cotton mystery kit, and I don't know which one is which because there's two. There's a worsted cotton mystery kit, and then there's a cotton mystery kit, but they both come in bags, like nice bags. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go with the worsted cotton first. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Lee Crochet is so good to me. Oh my God. Okay. So first of all, I love the bag and it says weekend plans crochet with a chance of a movie marathon. Yes, please. Oh my God. If that bag does not just speak to me. Oh my goodness. And it's got a snap, which is nice. Nice little magnetic snap. It's got a little inside pocket. That's exciting. <gasps> Whoa, dudes. This is, wow. Okay. Okay. Um, there's a bunch of yarn in here. Hmm. And there's a book. There's a book. So let's see what we got. Okay. So first of all, we got this comfy worsted weight, which is what I just got. Um, this is that Pima cotton, 75% Pima, 20% or 25% acrylic, 75, 25. So basically it's what I just got here, just in a different color. And I love it. I love it. It's a weight of a four, and this color is called um, Seafoam. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh, it totally goes with that, right? Seafoam. Oh, this is called Shine. It is worsted weight, 75 yards, 50 grams, 60% Pima cotton, 40% uh, Modal. Now that one's got a little bit more sheen. Look at the two difference. Okay, so the Madal is I got a little bit less Pima cotton than this one and a little bit more Madal, so it's got a little bit of a sheen going on there. Also a weight of a four, a little bit less on the yardage. Um, this one comes in, the Seafoam comes in at uh, 109 yards and the Wisteria comes in at 75 yards. Love it. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is basically, I think, like all of their different cottons because there's another cotton coming out right now. Oh, this is Dishy. Love Dishy. So this is 190 yards, 100 grams. Four, it's a weight of a four, it's 100% cotton. This is great if you're going to do like washcloths or some kind of like a household item. I mean, you could do, you could do a garment with this. But it's not, I mean, you can see it's not as soft. It's really more of a workhorse kind of a yarn. Um, but it's great if you're going to be doing, like I said, washcloths or dish towels or pot holders or something like that because it's 100% cotton. It's really going to absorb that water, which is really nice. Also a weight of four. Um, and again, this is 190 yards. So this is more than all the other ones. This one's 109. And this color is called... You are called, what are you called, my lovely? What are you called? It doesn't tell me the color. What? We just got to make it up. Oh no, there it is. It's called Lilac Mist. Would you like a dishcloth in the name called Lilac Mist? Yes, please. Oh my gosh. We crochet. Can I just say, I love, love, love we crochet absolutely love we crochet so here's two more dishes that they gave me this is a variegated so it's going to be the same it's 100 percent cotton it's a weight of a four it's going to be 190 yards coming in this color is called pebble lovely and this one is the same thing also dishy this color is called now that i know where the name is going to show up sun baked clay cool all right, so these are, so, so far I've got three dishes, okay? Uh, one shine, which is a worsted weight Pima cotton and Madal, and then I got another one of the comfy worsted weights, which is the um, Pima cotton and the acrylic, which is lovely. And y'all, I'm not kidding, there's more in this bag. 
Here's another dishy. This is a twist dishy. This one is, again, 100% cotton, a weight of a four. It's coming in with the same amount of yardage, 190. This color is called silver. Silver. So this is great. This is all of the dishes that I got here. So you could totally make a towel or whatever if you want with these. And then we got the comfy and the shine. So these are all their cotton blends. And oh, wait, there's more. Come on, people. Come on with this. I'm asking you. Comfy Color Mist Worsted Weight Chive Blossom. 219 yards, 100 grams. <gasps> it's gorgeous. Okay. So this is a weight of a four. This is 75% Pima cotton and 25% acrylic. So it is the same as these guys, comfy, right here. So this is called comfy mist or color mist rather. So it's just their variegated version of this, but it has more yardage that's coming in at 219 for this Hank. This is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Look at those colors, oh my gosh. If I didn't, if I had to choose my colors, I probably would have chosen these colors. Ooh, all right. I'm not hating this. I, I really, I'm loving this bag. Loving this bag. This is the We Crochet Complete Yarn Guide. Ooh. So it says dozens of yarn lines, hundreds of colors, one essential book. This is the 2022 guide, which includes the full range of yarns alongside color accurate images to take your project planning to the next level. Peruse old favorites like Wool of the Andes and Brava and discover new to you yarns like Lindy Chain and Wonder Fluff. Each yarn line includes its vital stats like fiber content, yardage, and care info to guide you from that gotta have it moment of inspiration to discovering the best yarn in the perfect color. Whether you can keep this yarn guide on the bookshelf in your craft room or carry it in your project bag, we're happy to be a part of your crafting journey from chain stitches to finishing and everything in between. They're just so good to me. They're so good to me. All right, so basically it's a nice spiral bound book and it gives you, this is the Aloft line and then it shows you uh oh cool okay this is awesome so it shows you basically the yarn and all the yarn colors and then this qr code you can scan this to get this pattern and i love her this is mj off the hooks designs and i love what she does i'm actually working on a couple of her patterns right now and i love that all right so that basically shows you you want to use this yarn on this pattern Oh my gosh, you guys, every page has a pattern. This is the alpaca cloud, and it shows you, gives you all the stats on the yarn. And then over here, it gives you a pattern idea and so on and so forth. I feel at this point, I should apologize to the Brit. I'm, so, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, because this is not the last time I'm gonna be buying yarn. I'm just going to say that. Okay. And I have another bag to even go into. So this is called the Billow. I don't know Billow. Um, but this one here, again, so it's got every one of their yarns. This is our favorite Brava patterns. Uh, and then it gives you the yarns. And then you can also go to their website and you can download the patterns that you want. A lot of them are actually free um, here. And it gives you like how you can buy the Brava. What a great book. What a great book. Okay, and this one here, you can make a poof. All right, so how much was this kit? This kit was $34.99 for this book, this bag, and all of this yarn. All of that. That's just it's exciting. That just... I don't know what the heck that was. That that this just ex exciting. Wow. I think my mouth just took a hiatus. That's scary. So basically, I mean, it just goes on and on with every one of their yarns. What a great book. The Mighty Stitch. And then it gives you, and like I said, there's patterns all throughout this. Okay. So here in the back, this is this Stroll Tweed, which I have some of this and I love this. And then there's this great pattern right down there. This Stroll Tweed I have, it's um, 
it's this really nice tweed, obviously, but the colors are a little bit more muted, as you can see here, which just, you know, sometimes you don't want, sometimes bright colors can be kind of novel, you know? Um, and, and I can say this because I am a sucker for bright colors and, um, and I need to grow up a little bit, you know, change it up a little. And so that would be a good thing. Now this here is Swish. This is your bright colors. And then once again, here's a pattern here below. All right, y'all, I'm a big fan, huge, huge fan of what we're looking at right here. Absolutely huge fan. It goes into the wool of the Andes and so on and so forth. This is a beautiful book, 115, 124. Good Lord. Oh, and then there's a nice little index on the back. And then here's the different patterns and so on and so forth. Yeah, I could see me getting into this quite a bit. You want to see more? Ooh, I hope that's, oh, oh, I'm looking at this bag and I'm like, is that what I got? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Simply wool. All you need to know about yarn. And then there was a part in here. Okay. How to read a ball band. Well, that's great. This is some good information in here. Um, I do talk about that in some of my videos, but you know, in case you don't know, here's how to read a ball band. But basically what we're saying is, and unfortunately, not all yarns do this. So, but those that do, I'm very happy with. So basically, here's how you read it. This should tell you up on the front. You want to be able to tell the yardage. Some patterns will say you need X amount of grams of this. And so that's why it's important to know the weight of the yarn as well. Um, and it's also going to tell you, I pretty much go by the yards, but just in case, right? Here on the back side is what we're looking at. You want to make sure this is going to tell you the weight of the yarn. This is the, probably one of the most important things. You want to know what kind of yarn you're working with. It's the weight of a four, which is more, which it's, it's pretty much your standard weight. When you go into the fives and the six and the sevens, that can send your bulkies and your super bulkies and the really, really big things. When you go below the fours into like the twos and the ones you're getting into your lace weight, your fingerling weights, your sports weights, that kind of stuff. So it just depends on what you're going to be making. But if your pattern calls for weight of four and you're not using your yarn weight of four, you're going to be sorely disappointed because your pattern is going to be either really big or really small based on what you're doing. So knowing the weight of your yarn is super important. And that's nice right there. Anyways, and it also tells you the care you know, how to take care of this particular garment or whatever you're going to make out of it. And then also tells you if you're knitting or crocheting, what sizes you're going to be needing here. So that's, I just gave you tutorial 101 on how to read a yarn label. But like I said, some places don't give you that. And that's kind of stinky. That's kind of a problem. A lot of European labels don't give you that. All right, moving on. But boy, is this a cool deal? It's on their website, recrochet.com. I'm going to go ahead and include it in the link below and you can hopefully find it. Um, and if they don't have any of these kits left, I don't know, maybe they just kind of like come and they go because sometimes I see them and sometimes I don't, but I will, um, you just want to go to their kits page. I'm just like sitting here just drooling over this stuff. All right. So this was their worsted cotton mystery kit, worsted cotton mystery kit. Now we're diving into their regular cotton mystery kit. I'm loving. Okay. Bye-bye. See ya. Y'all, I mean, come on. Come on. This one, also $34.99. $34.99 for this. And so I got free shipping and... Um, just off you go there. Uh, and I got an additional 20% off. So each one of these ended up costing me about like $30 and then there was free shipping. So I'm not hating it. I'm taking the tag off of this guy. So this first of all is their everyday tote. I think is what it's called. Everyday tote. I just can't take it. I'm just going to cut it, cut it, cut, cut, cut. This is their everyday tote. All right. Um, so it says wheat crochet, beautiful. It's a nice, it's kind of, it's what I call pleather. You know, it's vegan, vegan leather. No animal was harmed in the making of this. Oh, oh, mm-mm. All right, look what I got. I got another, 
complete yarn guide. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so now I have two. Oops. I should give this to somebody. Hmm. I have to think about that one. All right, so I got two bag books. But I'm, a, I'm not hating it. I'm not hating it. All right, so let's see what we got inside. Now, this is the cotton mystery kit. So I know they're going to be... <laughs> I know they're going to be cotton yarns. Don't know what we're looking for. Oh, this is called cotton lin or cotton lin rather. It's a DK weight. All right. So that's going to be a little bit of a lighter weight than um, these guys, than the weight of the four. This is typically a weight of a three DK weight. It is linen, 123 yards and 50 grams. Yes, it is a weight of a three. So it's 70% Tangus cotton and 30% linen. That's lovely. It's got a nice little sheen to it. The cotton keeps it nice and soft because sometimes linen can get a little bit scratchy. This is really nice. Okay. And again, this is 123 yards. One, two, three. So this is cotton lin. Okay. Then I got, oh, I got some more comfy. This is the fingerling weight. So this is even going to be lighter than the other one. This is coming in at a weight of a one. Okay, so this is a Pima cotton, 75% Pima cotton and 25% acrylic. And this is 218 yards. So typically, the lighter the weight of the yarn, the more you get because it takes up less space, right? Science lesson 101. Now this is the same consistency or ingredients, if you will, as this one, 75% Pima cotton, 25% acrylic. Look at the difference in the weights. This is a weight of a four and this is a weight of a one. So this is good for, I mean, one is pretty thin. That's kind of like a lace weight. Uh -uh. Well, it's fingerling weight. So you can use it for like lace and light, lightweight scarves and things like that. It's really pretty. This color, by the way, is called Peapod. It's called pea pot. So basically I'm getting all kinds of cottons, which is great. I love cotton. Super easy to wear, um, really functional yarn to work with and to, um, you know, to make garments and things out of. All right. This is a comfy in a sport weight. Now the sport weight comes in at a weight of a two. This is a great lesson. Okay, so this color here is called Honeydew and it is 136 yards. This is comfy sports weight. So I will line these up so you guys can see the difference. This is, again, 75% um, Pima cotton, 25% acrylic. Again, same ingredients as the other ones. It all comes down to the different weights. This is also very pretty. And there are four more skeins y'all Ooh, okay we got another one of these shine but this one is in a sports weight this is a weight of a two 60 percent pima cotton 40 percent mandal so it's the same as this guy but you can see the difference in the yarn weights and basically when we talk weight if you can't if you haven't already figured out we're talking about the the thickness of the the strands all right, so this one here, the wisteria is a four, and this one over here, which color is called sailor, which is a weight of a two. I believe it's a two, yeah, it's a two. So that is a sports weight. Okay, and then we got three more skates in here, people, Jiminy criminy. Ooh, oh, okay. So these are interesting skeins. This is called pineapple. This is called Samia. The color is pineapple, rather. This is a fingerling weight, 188 yards, and it's a weight of a one. 80% cupra, cupra, and 20% mulberry silk. Ooh, you can see the silk, and as shiny and soft as it looks, it is, it is that soft. <sighs> Lovely. And again, this has 188 yards. Okay. This one here is called Lindy Chain. This is called Bluebell color. This is a fingerling weight, so this is gonna come in at a weight of a one. It is 70% uh, linen and 30% Pima cotton. So this is gonna line up with the cotton lin, except that this is going to be thinner. So that's the same ingredients as this guy here. Again, just looking at the difference. Really, really nice. This yarn in particular has a little bit of a, 
a strand character, if you will. Can you see that? It's almost kind of like that. Got a little bit of a braided look to it. Lindy Chain. This is called Bluebell. And then the last one I got is called Curio. Oh, this is thread. It's a number three thread. 295 yards, 100 grams. So again, the smaller the weight, the more that you get. This is 100% uh, mersized cotton. I don't work a lot with this. If you're working like thread, this is definitely like a lace weight. This is going to come in um, if you're going to be doing shawls or any kind of lace work, anything like that. Not socks. Um, really, the only one that would work with socks is none of these, actually. And the reason being is, even though it might be like a thinner yarn, you got to have nylon because it's got to have a little bit of a give to it. I have a sock yarn here that is from Knit Picks. All right. So this is called Felici. This is a fingerling weight, but it's superwash merino wool and 25% nylon. So this comes in at a weight of a one. But if you notice the yarn as I pull it, it gets, a little, see, it's got a little bit of a give to it. All right. You want that because you want the yarn to be able to bounce back when you're wearing socks. Um, for instance, I made this sock with this yarn and I crocheted this. Um, and if you put it on, it will actually hold its shape. See, like so, just like a regular sock. Isn't that cute? I got to finish. I just got to make the other sock. That's all I have to do. I need to do that. I need to do that because I have a lot of this stuff. Yeah. I, oh, 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 one sock. Come on. I mean, talk about a whip gone wrong for heaven's sakes. Anyways, um, but that's what this is. So if you see, it's got a little bit of a give to it, a little bit of a stretch. These guys here, well, if I was going to be using this one, it's not going to give you that, that give to it. Let's see. Is that everything in here? That's all that's in here, people. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right. So let's take a quick little tour around the Weed Crochet website. I want to show you some of the pages that I love to go to. These kits are amazing. And I can show you how to, you know, like the double dip discounts and all that kind of stuff. So let's take a look over at the Weed Crochet website. Weed Crochet as you know, is one of my all-time favorite websites for yarn and all things knitting and crochet. They're always running sales. As you can see here, this is their extended Memorial Day sale. So there's always sales running and there's always free shipping on orders over $45. That is there into the U.S. Alaska, Hawaii, and U.S. territories is a little bit more, but over $45, it's free. So they currently ship to addresses in the United States, Canada, Australia, and the United Kingdom. I love their yarns. I love their value packs. And you can go between We Crochet and also Knit Picks, which is their knitting side. You can see that they also carry other brands Besides their own, Wool of the Andes, which is their, from their nitpick side of things. And then they also have Lion's Brand. And they're always going to be running a special like this, 10% off of $45 or more. So in addition to getting the free shipping, you can also stack these promo codes. So if your order is 15, if $75 or more, you get the 15% off and you would also get the free shipping. So here you can see they've got some really good tutorial videos on crocheting, different tips, learning how to crochet, and then here you can see all the different things that they offer. Each month they're going to offer one of their yarns and they're going to make that a certain amount off. Usually it's about 20%. So this month they have their comfy yarn. One thing that I really like about We Crochet is you can stack your coupons. I love this upcycled blend yarn. I absolutely love it. And it's currently 50% off selling for $5 a skein. Now, I can also stack it and use this Memorial Day 24 code 
and also get free shipping. So here, that yarn comes out to $55, and then if I put in the promotional code, that takes that yarn down to $53.54. So Knit Picks is the knitting side of the We Crochet site. So it's going to be very similar in the sense that you're going to get all the different kinds of stack promotions, you're going to get all the free shipping, and you can actually go between the two and include it in your one order. So here again, they ship to Canada, Australia, and the United Kingdom. All right, well, there you have it. So <clears throat> this was my unboxing of the two cotton mystery kits that are available through We Crochet. Now, I ordered this like at the end of May, um, and I, this might be like a stock thing. This is not like a come in, come out sort of a deal. So if you want to learn about the different kinds of cotton yarns and the different things that you can mix with the cotton yarns, maybe you don't wanna like subscribe to one until you really kind of figure it out. This might be a great way to go because it came out at $34.99. But then again, they were offering, and they're always offering sales, where you get like, you know, you spend a certain amount, you get 10% off or 50% off or 20% off. And when you spend $45 or more, you get free shipping. And that's kind of like always running it. Um, so like currently they have 20% off on a specific yarn. So each month they run a special. So you just kind of have to kind of, you know, look out and see what you've got going on. Um, but oh my goodness, am I excited. And then again, I got these two two of these books. Hmm. I'm thinking I should do a giveaway because that would be a good deal. Comment below. Let me know if you think I should. All right. So comment below. Have you tried Wheat Crochet? If you haven't, why not? These yarns are amazing. Share please share us with your friends. Share our page with your friends and your family, those people that you like, you know, those people you want to have fun with because that's what we do here is we just have fun. Make sure you pop over to our Facebook page, Kimberly with Knit for Brains, and join us over there. You can share your whips. If you've got any problems with projects you're working on, you can post them there, um, and then you can get feedback on them. I'm also trying. I'm tapping my toes. I'm dipping my toes into pattern writing. This is not my strong suit right? They say, know your strengths, know your weaknesses. Pattern writing is not my strength, but I'm dipping my toes in. So occasionally I will post a pattern. I'll say, Hey, you know, take a look, test it, see what you guys think, see if it makes sense. You know, give me any feedback that you've got. Check us, check us out there. Thank you. If you're just subscribing or you've been with us for the longest time, thank you so much. We love having you here, me and the Brit, and you'll see him all over the place here doing fun stuff. Um, yeah, we're having a blast here. So this is Kimberly with Knit for Brains. Share us with your friends. Tell everybody about us. And as always, I'll see you soon.